Tesseract is the three-dimensional shadow of a four-dimensional hypercube that's been unfolded. So if you imagine, you know, when you take a, a cube, let's say a die, and if you unfolded it out, you'd end up with six panels in a roughly crucifix shape. Well, a Tesseract is the same thing, but instead of flat panels, each of those faces of the Tesseract is a three-dimensional cube. When Cooper enters the Tesseract, he finds that it really just shows him one place in space, which is Murph's bedroom. But it shows it at multiple points in time. We came up with this idea that all the objects in the room, and the room itself, would be leaving these traces in space-time, these world lines. Cooper cannot go physically go back in time. He's outside of space and time when he's inside the Tesseract. But what he can do is he can send a message into normal space-time. And he can physically move these world lines, or the extrusions, as we call them. And that sends a wave traveling along these things. And that enters the room and affects the objects that are inside the room. And this made perfect sense because, uh, again, according to Einstein, that's what gravity is. Gravity is a wave that propagates through space-time.